guys, welcome to Matt's Lock Pit. As you can see, we're not actually in the lock pit today. That's because I'm taking you guys on a Black Ops mission. The mission's called Operation Padlock Extraction. As many of you have seen in my first adventure video, there's beautiful padlocks on this military defense land just going to waste. Here at Matt's Lock Pit, we leave no good man behind, and that goes for padlocks as well. So we're gonna see if we can save some of these beauties. We're gonna go behind enemy lines, and we're gonna extract them, and we're gonna save them. So thanks for checking in with me guys, and I'll see you soon, and we'll see what beauties we can save. Bye now. She's pretty fucked. I don't think I can save that. Squire, who knows if we can save that. You're coming home with me, guys. Don't you worry. They can't hit you no more. There we go. That's our first hostages rescued. Hopefully we'll have plenty more. I'll check back in with you soon, guys. Bye now. Hi, guys. I'd like you all to take a minute silence. Unfortunately, I've just come to our next hostage. He's not savable. Poor little fucker. He's passed away. But I'm sure he's in lock heaven now. Rest in peace, brother. I'm sure you've done a fantastic job during your life. But uh, right now we've got other living hostages that we can save. So we're not going to disturb him from his final resting place. Take it easy, brother. Bye now. Alright, so right beyond this ridge, guys. This is basically the private Ryan of our mission. Let's have a look, see if we can see. Ah, oh, the cheeky bastards have got him chained up. What I can see over there is a chub. We need to rescue him, so we're gonna get closer. And uh, we'll see you in a second and we'll rescue this sucker. Bye now. All right guys, so as I said, this is the private Ryan of the mission. Lovely old chub. Such a shame to see him chained up by the enemy forces. There we go guys, as I said, meet me back at headquarters and uh, we'll check him out. See you in a second, bye now. Hi guys, as many of you remember in my last video, I found this lovely Abloy 330 and I didn't notice that below it there was a padlock. Turns out it's a combination padlock. Focus, quite a nice one at that, an Abus 14540, very cool, nice locks. So I'll see you in a second guys, bye now. Hi guys, just found another padlock of war. Can't take this one, we've got a discus on the side here. However, this is in use, so we're not gonna touch that. But if we reach down, we'll chain it over. We got this beauty. I don't know if you remember it from the video, but it's got a nice removable core. It looks pretty fucked, but we'll see if we can save it. We'll get this one home, try to see if we can nurse it back to health, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we go. Don't know what the fuck I'm saying, mixing up my words, but fuck it, it's all good. I'll see you guys soon. Bye now. Alright guys, as you can see, it looks like the enemy's sneaking upon us. Looks like we've got a whole load of hostile combatants coming aboard on a train. Awesome stuff. You'll never catch me, you'll never catch the padlocks, you won't take them back. Fuck you guys, they're my padlocks now. Oh. So that's it guys, Operation Extraction Padlock, mission accomplished. Unfortunately we didn't actually save as many padlocks as I was hoping to, although we have saved a fair few. If you meet me back at the headquarters, Matt's Lock Pit in a minute, we'll have a look at the casualties, see what we're working with, see if they're saveable. I'm hoping they are, but as far as I'm concerned, mission accomplished. So thanks for watching guys. As I said, meet me back at the Lock Pit and uh, we'll see what we're dealing with. Bye now. Hey, what's up guys? As you can see, we've made it back to the lock pit. And if I pan down for you, we can see our padlocks of war. Very cool stuff. So yeah, I'd say uh, Operation Padlock Extraction was a success. So we'll start off with this big old bugger. As you can see, the weather hasn't been kind to this bulldog lock. However, as you can see, we have a removable core with a nice 
squiggly type keyway. And uh, let me stick a pick in there. Nice. All of the pins are moving correctly. So at the very least, the core is going to be salvageable. Awesome stuff. Which brings us on to this little square old English lever lock. Love these little padlocks. However, once again, the weather hasn't been too kind to this one. I'm not sure whether it's salvageable, but what I plan to do with these two bad boys is a bit of DIY electrolysis. I don't know if any of you have seen my electrolysis video. It was one of my first videos that I'd done when I started up the channel. So, um, yeah, i got a bit more experience now, so I plan to reenact it, and fingers crossed, we can salvage at least the core. I know the core is going to be okay. Which brings us on to this master. Real shame with this, the body is in surprisingly good nick on this. However, when we flip it upside down, there's no other word for that apart from fucked, really. The dials are basically welded themselves together. I don't know if I can get that show any better. Uh, yeah, real shame. I'm probably going to chuck it in some vinegar anyway, see if, uh, see if anything does happen. So now, the creme de la creme. As I said, the Private Ryan to our mission. This lovely chub. And this is actually in quite good nick. This won't actually take as much cleaning up as I expected. Look at that under there. Bit of crap inside. I'll get all that out. Not a problem. But yeah, very nice padlock. I'm looking forward to reviving this beauty. Um, don't actually know much about picking these. Uh, as far as I'm aware, you need a dedicated pick. However, if any of you guys have got any tips and tricks about these or any info that I should know about these chubs, I would be interested in to know. I'd be grateful if you could let me know. But yeah, very nice lock. So uh, just to save this one alone makes Operation Padlock Extraction a success. So I'd say mission accomplished, guys. If anyone's interested in seeing the revival process of these padlocks, why don't you come and join us on Discord? Uh, always chatting away on there. we got pickers from all over the world. Just generally having a laugh, giving each other information. Just shooting the shit, really. I'll leave the invite link in the description below. Come and join us, guys. It's real good fun. And whilst you're at it, why don't you get on over to the UKLP Facebook page. That's Lock Picking and Lock Sport UKLP. Uh, as, as I'm sure you're all aware... I quite often bombard the place with my photos. Uh, they also have a shop, as you can see down there, uklockpickers.co.uk. Uh, very awesome shop. They've got some lovely stuff. They ship worldwide, so I do recommend checking it out. And quickly, as I've got you guys, I just want to give a big shout out to my main man, John Eggington, who sent me a little care package yet again. As you can see, we've got an ABUS 6550. This comes with two keys. Lovely bitten on the keys. Lovely padlock. Thank you, John. I'm going to have a good bit of fun with that. That looks tricky, I'm not going to lie. And um, that wasn't all that he sent me. He sent me a pair of Abuses. As you can see, three-star kite mark. This is an Abus E90. Very cool lock, these are. As you can see from the key, got a very deep cut on three, which is going to make picking this an absolute ball ache, but a fun ball ache at that. And, um, yeah, that's a very deep cut. Short hook's just not going to cut it with this. Not going to be able to set pin 4, 5, or 6 with a short hook without oversetting pin 3. So, yeah, this is going to give me a good battle. And on top of that cut, that low cut there, I know for a fact that these locks have a spring-loaded pin and pin in them and a standard pin and pin. And I think a couple of long spools. So I'm really looking forward to... Uh, Picking this one open and getting inside it. And I'm definitely going to do it on video. Lovely lock. So once again, my man John, Mr. John Eggington, thank you so much. Very much appreciated. You take good care of me, buddy. Can't thank you enough. So, uh, yeah. So thank you all for watching, guys. Please like. Please subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed our little Black Ops mission. And uh, I'll see you all again soon with another video. Bye now.